Here's Puck Panic. Taking a look, going two assists so far in her season play. Tries to chip it deep into the zone, but Gilmore picks up the lead puck. So feed it in behind, near side pass for Emily Clark. Boyd, pressured by Panic. She'll go D to D, far side for Ashton Bell. Now some time on the near side. Great job from Gabby Hughes there to find Clarkie on the on the breakout there. Clarky on the rush now. Here she comes, Emily Clark. She'll turn back and wait for support. First player ever to sign with Ottawa's Harmon lets it oh. go. Savannah Harmon open the scoring in Ottawa. And it's a bar down for Savannah Harmon. Her first. See Emily Clark come in, fake up the wall. See Savannah Harmon walk in, top the circles, and she snipes that top shelf, sees that spot open on Hensley, and really good job from Savannah Harmon here to walk in, top of the circles. I mean, really good job, offensive defenseman here, and she's on the board tonight. How about that? Savannah Harmon from Donors Girl inside TD Place Arena, another packed house. That puck gets flipped to center, kept in the zone by Shepherds. Liz Shepard is looking for some option. She'll move it to center. To George now turns back. Larry to George from Anchorage, Alaska. That is ninth. Really great shift there from Liz Shepard. She holds the zone, is able to get that pass off, and puts it in deep. First look at special teams here tonight in Ottawa. Hooking will be the call. Up for hooking. We'll see what Ottawa can do on the power play here. They've got their third line out. And power plays has been a strength for Ottawa, currently leading the league. Three for eight so far on the power play. Minnesota, their penalty kill has been a bit of a struggle. of led in three power play goals again. <laughs> the penalty kill goes to work. Well, here comes Kevin Coin Schofield shorthanded. Coin Schofield cuts to center. One on three. It still manages to get it deep in Ottawa's end. Daryl Watts with the back check there. She's got her stick in there. A little poke check to help Dinsey Rose out. Great play set up for the power play. Dinsey Rose quarterbacking this power play for Ottawa. She'll take a look up ice. Rose holding on. Hanger options. Finds Sarah Watts. Watts over the line. She cuts the middle. Watts going all the way. She has she net front. Watts holds on. Back to the point for Rose. Dinsey Rose holds on. She takes a look. Rose turns back. A far side pass. Settled. Rose. Another shot this Ooh. high. Looking for tipping. Jinsey Rose come up the blue line here, feed that over, and she comes in, takes that shot for a rebound, and Ajia is there on the doorstep to put that in. That's Lexi Ajia's first goal for Team Ottawa, and I mean, I think she's going to be happy about that one. <laughs> <laughs> How about that from St. Thomas, Ontario? Lexi Ajia drafted 11th round. The shot goes, saved by Nashmeyer. Tappany tries to follow it up, her shot off a stick in front. Under 30 seconds to go on Minnesota's power play. Steck line along the blue line. Far side pass for Heisey. Near side for Tappany. Tappany top of the circles. And she'll score! Susanna Tappany on the power play. Minnesota is on the board. Well, Minnesota will get their first power play goal of the season. And it's Susanna Tappany letting that high shot go from the circle. And again, Minnesota wanting to get on the board on their power play here. And Ken Klee, earlier talking to him, he said he wasn't too worried about special teams. He said that they were going to get them together. Wasn't too worried about the team. And there we go. There's their first game. Deep below the goal line. No, Ashton Bell's ability to cut close to the net there. You want to lose your defender. She does a really good job cutting close to the net, making sure they can't get in there. That allows her forwards to get something started in the other end. Ottawa trying to cut up this motion by Minnesota. Coonan right in the middle of this battle. Ottawa comes out with it. Near side pass, a chance. Boulier. Back 
taking control. Mrazova. Cuts to center. A nice read and drawing the penalty at that. Katarina Mrazova in full control draws in Tapani, and that will be two minutes. She's up and gets tripped here by Tapani, and Tapani will sit for two or less, but great job for, from Marzova to swivel hip, try to get her to bite on that and want to come back inside. But I like the effort from Akane Shiga from at the beginning of this shift to keep the puck in net, keep the puck in zone and make sure her team has a scoring opportunity. And back to the power play, they will go. Shiga finding success in the first. Savannah Harmon picks up the puck. Well, she has Kenna Point Schofield right on her tail. And took game control. A beautiful play by Minnesota's captain. And you heard Lee Steckline calling for that puck back. I mean, you're on the penalty kill. Why not keep possession, keep it away from them so they can't set up? Looking for some room. Boulier cuts through center. We're going to go end to end. She'll send it deep into the corner. Steckline first on it, rims it around at the near side, trying to find Panic. And Boulier is trying to keep it in. Panic chips it ahead. Free Zumwinkle with some room. Zumwinkle drives, looking in front, and she scores! Oh my goodness! Grace Zumwinkle has arrived, her fifth on the season. And a jailbreak at that. Welcome back, Susanna Daphne. Wow, we've talked about this jailbreak goal but Grace Zumwinkle coming down the boards. She's able to get that shoulder drop. This kind of looks like one of her goals from the other day as well. She's able to roof that on Mashmeyer, and that's that's a skill that, you know, you, you just can't teach. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And Tapani's like, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was Driving it on Ottawa's end as the crowd is loud. Hughes feeds it ahead. On the inside, Emily Clark with space. Clark, her high shot. Blocker saved by Hensley. Bookbinder and Clark battling hard in the corner. Tapney comes in for support. Zumwinkle will turn back. She takes a look up ice. Bookbinder goes for the change. Tapney. Out comes Flaherty. Susanna Tapney. Trying to read the play. Daryl Watts watching Tapney. Kucheva calls for it and he'll score! Ricochets off a body in front. It'll be Susanna Tapney in overtime for Minnesota. Well, a redirected shot can always be challenging for a goaltender, but Susanna Tapani with her second of the game seals it for Minnesota. Tough one there for Ottawa, but Emrin's Mashmeyer has got to be proud of herself for that one. She, uh, she definitely stood on her head and tough to let in that shot at the end, but off of her own teammate.